So, hello there. I just made it to Grandmasters using my Haven deck. And now that the grind is over, I'm still playing, of course, for my dailies, to get some money for the next expansion, and to have some fun in the game. So, what I'm playing right now is Whale Dragon, but it's a little different list. I've got a few tech options, and so far I like this list. Is it the most optimal way to play it? Probably not. Is it fun? It certainly is. So, let's just hop straight into the game and see what we get. I do not expect too many wins, but as I said, it's a fun deck to play. And I actually enjoy the whale's art. I think it's beautiful when you got the, the shiny whale and got it multiplied. It's, it's, in my opinion, just one of the best artworks in the game. It's just beautiful. But let's just see who we're facing. Okay, so we're up against Swordcraft, 18,000 Grandmaster. So that one is pushing for GM1. Mm, we're actually gonna keep this. While we don't have ramp, I think this is still a good hand. Of course, ramping is also a good option. But we'll see. Nice. This will always draw a Genesis Dragon, so we have a turn 4 board clear. Yeah, that's okay-ish. Nope, that is okay. 3... Uh, no, probably. Depending on what he plays now. Mm. So he's going to go for 7 damage in all. Uh, 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 uh. I could go for the safer option. Let's just do it like this. And we still have rampant clear next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Ooh, that of course is also good, but we're going to keep it. The good thing is, next one we can play Slaughtering, clear the board while keeping him, which is awesome for us. And he's even playing his stat fast. I would actually keep the card. Do it like this. Do I really want to evolve it? Yeah. I could go for the slower play. Uh, no, let's just do it like this. Nope. Gonna keep it. He's probably going to clear it. Yeah, was to be expected. And we even got the animated version. Clear it. Give it some damage. Yeah, decent. Yes. Nine rally, nine followers destroyed. Not too good for us, but nothing much we can do. Clearing the whale. Ah, okay, he got it reduced. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Hmm. 
I can play all of them. Whale. Feline. Hmm. I could play it right now. But I also don't want him to get a big board. Let's just go for a little more board. More whales. <laughs> yes, yeah, so far it's looking good. I mean, he can still win. It's sword. He will easily clear those two followers. Mm -hmm. Has to play it like this. This is okay. More whales. Honorable thief for the evil. Mm. One. Doesn't matter at this point. This is a draw. This is a draw. I'm mm, still gonna do it like this. Does he have lethal next turn? He should not be able. So. I'm gonna do it like this. Keep one more draw. Next turn, I will draw four cards. With this, five cards. I should be able to get five whales up. And he has to clear the board. But he might also finish me this. Ah, uh, nope. Let's just see what we'll get. I mean, he has to clear it. And he will have to sacrifice one of those. I'm pretty sure about that. He could also trade, use Gilded Boots on World, trade and go face. Which would be still a pretty good option for him. Mm. Two. Ooh. Hmm. So he wants to do it like this. Hmm. Not good for us. Do I want to go for the five whales? He can instantly finish me, but also all his other cards can. I think I probably lost. So he will be able to clear my board, I'm quite positive about that. But still... Still a decent match. I mean, it was close. Wait, another world? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. But that's okay. Yeah. Happens. But still, interesting game. I mean, we're playing against a tier 1 deck. Right now, Sword is just so strong. But let's just go for a couple more games. 
And right now, Sword has pretty much everything. They have hard removal, they have big boards, they have healing. It's just... Right now, pretty much every class can do anything. Which is a little... Well... I guess it's okay. Maybe I should have played faster. So right now we're up against the rune. Yeah, going to keep this, going to keep this. Why not? Let's just keep it like that. Yes. Nothing will happen. Wait, no, inside will happen, of course. I love it when they think. Ooh. You know that feeling when a rune player just waits 10,000 hours just to play inside T1? Like, there's a better play he could do? That's just bullshit. At this point, it might still be item shop. Slaughtering. Get it. Yeah. Now he has his inside. Of course he does. Ramped. T6 Eternal Whale. And depending on how he deals with it, this might look good for us. Wait a second. Yeah, that's pretty good for us. Okay, game plan worked. We're doing fine. So right now, in my deck, if we consider everything is banished, we will have just whales. Dragonic Call will be active. He's going to trade into it. Beautiful. Whales. Whales. Ah, this is the big whale. I forgot about it. Going to keep these. I don't need this. Let's just stay that way. So right now, the only thing we have to do is draw cards and relax. Hmm. So he wants to heal, right? Of course he wants to. Cool. Okay. Big man, what you gonna do? Now, Kuon. No. Ooh, that's problematic for them. So, we're gonna push two damage. Yeah, he messed that up. See, that's a big whale for you. <laughs> Beautiful. That was just beautiful. Yeah. Gonna play one more. See, there are some cards in here that do not necessarily go straight into your whale plan. 
but they can still be pretty effective. For example, you can get a pretty big board with just Gabriel and the, wall and the whale. So I like the card, I'm going to keep it in there once. And even if you do not need it later in the game, you can still play it early to get some coverage. Let's just see. Uh, nope, this is only active on overflow. I want to ramp. This is actually too late to ramp, but I'm still going to keep it. Good. Let's hope they're playing it slow. See, two minutes thinking about inside. Well, oh, this is good. This is so good. He's gonna play something. Hmm? Not what we want, but still pretty good. Yeah, for free, that's okay. Activate it. Next turn, slaughtering. Into Dragonclad. And then T6 Eternal Whale. Looking good so far. I actually do not need to clear this bo- <clears throat> This is also good. Yeah, I lied. I'm going for the clear. Well, draw is pretty good. I'm going to keep it like this. Let's just try to deny the Evo on... What was his name again? On Chaos Wielder. So he can trade into that, but it will not be a favorable trade for him. Authoring tomorrow, and now he can play Kyoka. Decent. Wait, it's not enough. That's just a waste. Holy shit, why would you do that? Get whales, get draw, relax. Ah, we got the better whale. I'm going to play this and <laughs> make sure that this dies first. Four. Daria. Hmm. He should not have Kuon. Decent. Wait. Ah, he's going to clear it like this. Hmm. Hmm. So we got one of those whales. I could clear the board right now. I guess I'm going to do it a little differently. Uh, I also could need some healing. Uh. Do it for the whale. I'm not sure how much healing do I still have left. He has four, five, six, seven damage on board. Okay. Going in for the clear. Gonna clear. So right now he should have his first coup on board. Mm. 
Yeah, of course he does. So they're gonna get a ward, which is pretty big for him. Clear. Clear. Chaos Wielder. He didn't attack. Ah, he wants to deny the world. Decent. So, five, let's imagine seven, eleven, twelve, he has lethal on board, which is problematic. This is random. No, this is not random. I want to play it. Yeah, this might be bad for me, but I want to still play it that way. This is 8 healing and a full board. Probably the best way to play it. At least a decent way. Hmm. So... We play from him. He could clear his whole board into this, but he can only remove... Wait. So turn 8. Yeah. And now he's gonna wait. No, he's going to clear. Uh -huh, another cool one. But he'll only get 2. Is he evoing it? No, he isn't. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh god. Those sounds. Wow. It's just pure unholiness. Uh, but we might lose this. He has lethal 9, 12, 13. No. 2, 3, 8. 12, 15. So he's exactly lethal on board. But we have a pretty big board. I mean, he has to fall clear, or at least he should be. Mm hmm. Wait a second. So next turn we will be facing 5 leader damage plus 2 runies. Yeah, next turn he has us. But still, let's just play till the end. Uh -huh. And another Rooney. Kyoka. Ah, 2 more damage. No, Union Burst wasn't active. Holy shit. Hmm... Was there something? Uh, no. That is okay.
Well, not the most optimal draw, but we'll see. As I said, it's probably over for us. But maybe... Maybe... Also, this card does pretty much too much. Five. So he needs two runies and we lose. Two runies. One Rooney. Two Roonies. Yeah, it's over. Eh, it's over. Yeah. As I said, I still enjoy this deck, but right now it's simply not as strong as it was, or at least as it was expected to be. You have a lot of bad matchups and all other decks, while you still can provide a big board, can just do so much more. As I said, I still enjoy playing it, and since I made GM this season, there's no real necess necessity for me to play that much anymore or grind as hard. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and see you in the next games. Bye!